Hello there, this is the Bookkeeper Master on YouTube. Welcome to another QuickBooks Online video. In the previous video, I showed you how to create a bank feed on QuickBooks Online and also how to upload transactions from a CSV file. It doesn't matter which one you do, you're going to have the same screen. You're going to have the, the bank account and all the transactions that have been uploaded either through the CSV file or through the banking feed. These transactions, even though they are all showing here from my statement, they are not on QuickBooks. We have this bank charge here for £15.57. If I went and looked at a P&L or the, the nominal account for bank charge, we won't see this transaction. So even though they are being uploaded to QuickBooks Online, they're not automatically posted. They will only be posted when we tell QuickBooks to add that transaction or when we create a role to automatically assign these transactions when they are uploaded to QuickBooks Online. This video will make more sense as it goes on. So let's do a role first of all. So we have this shell, so that's fuel, £62.46. We have shell here, £50.25. We have shell here again, £100.57. We just have a BP here, which is also fuel, £55. At the moment, QuickBooks Online wants to assign this to traveling expenses, sales for some reason, traveling expenses, and BP to purchases. So what we can do is we can create a rule. So let's create a new rule. And we can call this our fuel rule. It's for any money out for all our bank accounts. And if the description contains shell, or if it also contains BP, we want QuickBooks Online to assign this as an expense to traveling, or it could be that you have a code for fuel and oil, something like that. If we want to add a payee, we can do that, and if you use tags, you can do that also. Now, if I save this rule, what QuickBooks is going to do is any transactions that meet the requirements of this rule, so either Shell or BP, so any of the following, it will assign those transactions to traveling expenses. So those four transactions I have on the banking feed should disappear and should be automatically assigned to QuickBooks Online. And any future transactions that are uploaded through a bank feed or a CSV file will automatically be assigned to traveling expenses if they say Shell or BP. So let's save this. Okay, and then let's go back to our banking screen. We did have 11 transactions. That's now fallen because we have four transactions that QuickBooks has posted to fuel. Those shell transactions and that, that BP transaction automatically been posted. We could do the same with income. So any transactions that have the description income, we could assign to like a sales code. So let's do that now. So we go to rules. We can create a new rule. If we want to edit our previous rule for fuel, it could be that we're now also getting fuel from SO. So we could put SO on this list, add SO. So any expenses that come through with SO in the description will also be posted to fuel. But let's add our new rule. Let's call this our sales rule. Okay, and this is for money in, all bank accounts, it's going to include the word income. So anything that says income is going to be a deposit to sales. Once again, we can add a payee if we want to or tags. This auto add, so this uh, means that the transactions will automatically be posted. If you don't have this ticked, then it will assign a transaction according to the rule, but you'll have to confirm it before it's posted. This auto add will just automatically post it without any confirmation, without any review needed. So let's untick that just to demonstrate this. So I'll click save. If we now go to banking, you'll see that we have this income meets the rule of sales. It's going to be posted to sales and we can just manually add these now by clicking on them. Like I said, if you click on that auto add, then there's no need to manually click. It will just add it for you. 
so that other sales one is gone. We have a couple of transactions here for Vikings. That could be a stationary roll. We have a bank charge. We could make a bank charge for roll, and we have an Aviva there, so you could have like an insurance roll. If you don't want to use rolls, then all you have to do is click on the transaction and manually enter the information. So Aviva, is it for a particular supplier or customer? What's the category? Well, it's insurance. Put in the tag if you want to. You can change the description here if you want to. Once we're happy, we click add. That will add the transaction. So we have a bank charge here. So this is going to be bank charges. Even though this is manual entry, this is still so much quicker than actually entering the transactions manually. You know, even if you plan on using the the bank feed and but don't want to use the rules, it's still much quicker to just enter these transactions like so. So 11 transactions entered in a few minutes. With rules, you can potentially add hundreds of transactions by just uploading a document or having a bank feed. It will be done automatically for you. You still have to reconcile the bank account. So we can go up here, click on reconcile and reconcile the account. I know I've been through a lot very quickly, so feel free to ask me um, any questions you've got, use the comments section below. If this has been helpful, please like, please subscribe, please watch more of my videos. I have loads of free QuickBooks videos on my website. Just head over to freebookkeepingaccounting.com. Here's the URL, freebookkeepingaccounting.com. Click on free stuff, go down to QuickBooks. I have a number of courses and videos all for free. There's no sign up needed, no registration. There's no cost involved. Just go through them, click on the links and watch more of my videos. Thank you.